Something you'll hear over and over again is technical analysis, fundamental analysis, what are they, how do you use them, and how do you mesh them together to find that next successful trade. Hey everyone, Lead Training with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified as soon as one of these new videos hits. We'd love to see you on one of our YouTube lives where we break down trades, break down the hot stock of the day, and really get into the nitty gritty. And the best way to do that is to ring that bell. You can be there live. We do Q&A every session. You can engage and really get that much closer to being a consistently profitable trader. So today we're gonna to talk about technical analysis and fundamental analysis. So let me start out with definitions, then we're gonna talk about expanding on that and then how we actually apply those. So number one is fundamental analysis. So when we talk about fundamentals, we're talking about the numbers, okay? What are the sales? What are the profits? What's the earnings per share? What's the market cap? I mean, these are, what I would say, for lack of a better term, these are the accountant's numbers, okay? These are the numbers that, uh, that the accountant cares about. Profit and loss, sales, price per unit. You know, if you're, a, if you're a social network, it's your monthly average users. Maybe it's your downloads. Maybe it's your, you know, repeat billing customers. But it's the nitty gritty that the bean counters care about. So this is in day trading and short term trading. If I had to give a rough mix, fundamentals matter, but they're probably only 30% of the decision for most of these trades. You should know the fundamentals. You should be aware if the profit company is profitable, if they have sales, you know, if they're actually growing or contracting. You know, the balance sheet's gonna tell you over time if this company's doing well or shrinking and doing poorly. So you should be aware of that. Fill it out on your sheet. In Stocks to Trade Pro, a mentorship program where I do twice daily webinars, we actually fill out these sheets every day to break down these trades. But the fundamentals are just a small portion of the overall pie when it comes to making a short-term trade. The 70%, roughly, part of the decision goes back to the technicals. And when I talk about technicals, it's really the charts and the indicators that you put on your charts. So it's a million different things. Well, million's probably a little high, but it's hundreds of different things. It's the previous day closing price. It's the 52 week high, the 52 week low, um, average volume, yesterday's trading volume, uh, Fibonacci levels, moving averages, exponential moving averages, Bollinger Bands, VWAP, all of these mathematical calculations that are overlaid on your chart. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of before I kind of tell you how to apply this is be careful with technical analysis paralysis. Okay, it's kind of a mouthful, but if you're a new trader, I really want you to avoid trying to use too many indicators, okay? Um, I'm not against any indicators. They're all have uses here and there, but a lot of the times I'll see new traders start adding all these lines to their chart, and it ultimately does two things. Number one, they, just, they add so many lines they don't know what to do, and number two, they just keep adding indicators until they get to the chart to show them what they want to see, and confirmation bias is very dangerous in trading. So start out simple, start out with my two favorites starting out are the previous day's closing price, which is our red to green line, and VWAP. I think those are the two things you should have on every chart, start there, and then expand from there. Okay, next thing, how do we bring this together to make a trade? So. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume we're bullish a stock. We're looking to buy this stock. And we're gonna start out with the fundamentals because we wanna look for something that isn't just what we call a one and done, a stock that's spiked and dropped and done random moves. So we're gonna start out looking at those fundamentals. Do they have a viable business? Do they have sales? Do they have profits? I mean, are they bleeding money, okay? I'm not saying they have to make a billion dollars a year, but if they're losing 10 million a quarter and they're a small market cap stock, there's a good chance they're not going to 
succeed over time. Look for growth. Look at, you know, was last quarter sales 10 million, this quarter sales 12 million. You're building that case to tell you that the fundamentals are decent in this stock. So now, after you've done that, you've looked at the earnings per share, you've looked at the growth, you've looked at, say, ideally actual profits, you can now flip over to your technicals, and this is where the rubber meets the road. Because now you're looking to buy a stock that's breaking through resistance, that's breaking a 52-week high, maybe it's gone red to green on the day, which shows you that, the, that even though the stock opened red, the buyers took control and pushed it to new highs, then, one of my favorite setups, and check out our other videos, I talk about the VWAP hold setup a lot. This is how I apply my technical indicators. So you've got a stock with decent fundamentals. I'm not saying it's gotta be great, but this is a stock with decent fundamentals. It closed the day strong yesterday. Today, it's opened red. It's now gone back green on the day, which tells you buyers are in control. And then as we proceed into the afternoon, the stock is above VWAP, which is again a bullish indicator, and it's pushing towards the high of the day into the market close. What this does for you, you've now shown that this stock has what I call proven itself. It's managed to open week, go green, and then continue trending all day. That is very bullish. It's not just random moves all over the place. You're not trying to dip by, you're buying a strong stock, in the market close. And then the great part about this setup, I'm guessing a lot of you are under the PDT, they're under the pattern day trader rule. You've now got a stock with strong fundamentals, that's green on the day, that's near the high of the day, it's above VWAP and it's closing strong. That's a great setup to potentially gap up tomorrow. You sell into the gap up, you don't use a day trade, and you've got your profitable trade of the day. And then you save a day trade, you know, and you can keep doing that every day, or you can day trade as well, and that way it maximizes your number of round trips each week. So, let me know below. Um, I'd be curious, do you use a blended approach like I use? Um, I, I, I think this is a real term, but I call it techno fundamental analysis, but uh, do you combine the technicals of fundamentals, or are you strictly fundamental or strictly technical? Let me know below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading-related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos, and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.